in this video video number five in my uh, ultimate quest or my quest to find the ultimate porn star martini this is the result and the battle stay tuned Hey Tricks fans, I am Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos help you, uh, yeah you, drink, serve and enjoy your favourite spirits. This final video, video number five, is the battle. I'm going to use virtually the same base uh, recipe. We've got two different purees going in there. One, I'll, I'll show you, I'll, get, I'll tell you. It's the battle of Funkin' versus Real. Uh, if you, I'm not going to delve into why, but I'm just going to need to adapt the recipe slightly just to add a touch more sugar to that one uh, than I am the real. Right, and here we go. Instead of making in my little tin, we're going to make in my normal uh, masterclass glasses. So we're going to make simultaneously side by side. Right, now the winner. Uh, if, you, if you're cheating, if you're watching this video first, go back and watch the previous videos. Uh, now the winner. Uh, Whitney Neal Vodka, uh, Vanilla Vodka. I'm going 50 mil in both drinks. Go and see what that was up against in video two. Um, go and see my reaction to that. That's why I picked it. So that's the first ingredient. There's no messing around with your porn star martinis. It's the law. It has to have Pessoa. There is a couple of other passion fruit liqueurs out in the market. I don't care. Pessoa. I'm going to be loyal to Pessoa, even if I'm not loyal to the other 95% of the ingredients in the actual cocktail. So I'm going 25 mil of Pessoa in each cocktail. So 50 mil vodka, vanilla vodka, 25 mil um, Pessoa, passion fruit liqueur, lime juice. This is where we're going. So we're going, I'm going to go 10 mil, 10 mil in each cocktail. There we go. Uh, the third ingredient now, sorry, the fourth ingredient is actually the sugar. Now, this is where we're going to have to go slightly different. Morning one, again, see the vanilla sugars? See my reaction in previous videos? But I'm going to have to slightly adapt. I'm going for a full shot of morning sugar, vanilla sugar in cocktail number one. And I'm going 15 mil. In cocktail number two this is the battle this is where it's all gonna be won or lost uh, so that's ingredient number I've lost track four ingredient number five we are now going for the puree off I'm going this is going to be stamped both the same 25 mil of funkin Funkin passion fruit puree. That's cocktail number one. I'm then going 50 mil, uh, sorry, 50, 25 mil. Exactly the same. I've just adapted the amount of sugar, that's all. So 25 mil of real, I have to do it this way because the squeeziness is at the bottom, of real passion fruit puree. Again, if you want to know why I'm using different amounts of sugar, go and watch the other videos. But that's that. So we're going Funkin puree. Pro versus Real, and then we are going the same. Yeah, Rubicon, it's the law, my law, Barman's law, STB's law. Twenty-five mil. You ever watch uh, the video, uh, film, cocktail, Coughlin's law, STB's law, Rubicon. I've got shares. Oh, I'd have been a millionaire if I had shares in Rubicon years ago. Um, there we go. Love Rubicon. Right. So there we go, our base base recipes. All's left to do now is ice down and shake. Right, ready to shake. Someone asked me the other day, um, my cocktail shakers, where where all these guys come from? Uh, I've moved. I've had a I've flipped round. Um, these are made by Beaumont actually. Um, you can get them for drink stuff, and I'll pop links in the show notes. But Beaumont, the same guys that make my very sexy mezclar precisio. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20 mil lines in there is the best measure on the market. Every bartender, even you guys at home, needs one of these. Right, we are going to shake these down for 12, 13 seconds, okay? 
when you're happy that they're chilled enough, get rid of your ice. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know. This point like is literally, I've made oh, thousands, tens of thousands of these in my business. This is the most crucial cocktail in my whole business. I'm so excited to see how this is going to finish. Okay, so first one, uh, we're just going to double strain this Krypton Factor Challenge. Who'd have thought I'd become a cocktail scientist? Mixologist. Get me, I'm a mixologist now. Freaking hate that word. So, there we have it. There we have the contenders. Right, the critical thing. Both of these have got the white frothy crema. The Funkin, settle, the Funkin has produced slightly more than the Real. First up, Funkin. Oh, that's good. That, that makes so much difference. So much difference. Hailwoods, you're going to love me. The amount of freaking porn star martinis I make, you are going to love me now for swapping over to that. Oh, that is good, right? Does, does the real. You guys at home, you're going to want this to win because that is so much easier to get hold of than that. So you're going to want that to win. Drum roll. Oh. Oh no. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. It's cheaper. It's just a bugger. I'm going to do something. Come back to me in two seconds. Right, I have just added a bit more vanilla sugar. So the actual recipe, yes, that's a lot of sugar to add. But I've just added a bit more sugar, um, vanilla sugar, to the recipe and sh re shaking it down. That wins. That makes, well, I'm, I'm actually shocked. I'm really, really shocked right now. Better by a long, long way. That, boys and girls, porn star martini fans, let's get rid of you, Funkin'. I have to say, it's better because it's long life and it just keeps and it's just that. But, oh boy. Wow. That is my ultimate porn star martini recipe for the rest of 2020. Uh, 50 mil, 25 mil, 15 mil, 25 mil, 50 mil. Lime juice, wherever you're gone, 15 mil. Wow, that is the ultimate porn star martini. I've been making it wrong, and you lot have been enjoying it and absolutely loving it, but you're going to love this even more.